what's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel. We're online at www.whatsupinthesky.com and you are looking at a Curiosity Rover mass cam shot from 735, Sol 735. Um, this thing's got some strange anomalies on it. I've been getting pictures. People have been sending me 735 nonstop. The whole, the whole data set's amazing. And if you're looking at uh, this is just one of the ones. I had this hasn't even been changed. This is the exact color that came from uh, right from NASA. I haven't touched any of this, and I'm looking at this this triangle anomaly here. It's got uh, it's sitting on top of a piece that comes out. It's it's almost blocked off. You can see it's got all sorts of symmetry and things that are added to it here, almost like a machine would be. And it seems to be scattered about. This is just I've done a little bit of a. Uh, I'm going to show you how I got to this point here in a second. But uh, this is very, there's many of these things. Like, look at this. We've got these strange looking rocks. We've got blur patterns everywhere. These are some of the worst looking pictures that we've had come down in a while. Um, we've been able to fight through a lot of this, the uh, blinds effects, which you can see what I say. When I say blinds effects, you can see them real well in this. See how they're like, up and down like that? And they put them over anything that's got some, uh, it's got, it, it, anywhere that there's lines to it, but Check out some of these here. Look, look at the uh, the perfect 90 degree angles. That's not actually perfect, but you, you can see it follows this line up here perfect. Lots of little spears everywhere. Um, it's amazing what I was able to pull out in this picture, but you can definitely see this down through here. Um, Hopefully you guys can see that, and you're also going to see how there's been a lot of blurring done on this. So let me show you where I got it from, and uh, also some like tool things here that looks all this whole thing's filled with stuff like up here's got stuff it's amazing these shots that's like and i didn't even know which one to choose there were so many of them so i just choose this one as the, one of the first one i was done i think the last one i did was on it so here we go with it so here's where you get it from don't worry about sitting up here and trying to see that in this because i've got it you know such so this is such a small it's a tw I, imac 27 that's how i'm able to get it so big and so perfect and we do see this one up here in the top um, corner two. So let's see here. Let's go back. And let me show you the one up there too. This is pretty interesting. Look at this anomaly. Tell me that doesn't look like some sort of gnome or something like that sitting there. It looks like it's been carved. And you can see that it's been blurred right there, which is just annoying because they only blur where there's stuff. You just don't see random blurs everywhere else. Seems like it's very, it's, it's done kind of meticulously, but there's, I don't even know why they, uh, in there, more and more, I think that they're definitely trying to let this stuff get seen for people who care to see it, because most people we can show this stuff too, and they just don't they don't see any of it. But the uh, as we're going to go back down here and start back down here as I do it, there's also some pretty cool stuff like this stuff over here, and just the fact that all a lot of these things here have these perfect circles that come around with one, two, three, four, five boulders. They all seem to be connecting. Um, this place almost looks a lot less destroyed than a lot of the stuff we've looked at in the past. Um, it almost looks like there's something like a smaller, smaller people who are living here at one time. We said I haven't pinpointed. I definitely people swear that there were very small Martians and then there were very big ones, and everywhere in between, depending on when when on Mars, just like here on Earth, I guess you could say there's been different sizes of uh, of beings. Uh, if you believe some of the pictures and some of the articles from back in the day, um, there's most likely giants here too on Earth as well. So, anyway, so there's so much in these pictures that, that, that we can actually pull up. So let me see here. Let's start with getting this back how I had it. And I'll just show you real fast how I got some of these, um, how I got to this point at least. And we'll go back and show you that. So let's get back to where we're looking at that triangle because that to me is the, uh, well, that's the one I'm going to put that on the, uh, for sure, on the thumbnail because you can see how perfect it is. I mean, it doesn't even look that dilapidated. It just looks like it has some stuff on it. So first thing I think I wanted to do with this one was just give it a little bit of a sharpen. Um, I'm just going to do a little smart sharpen on it. You're going to see it come up just a little bit different, but it uh, definitely pulls out a lot of it. See what hurt a little bit more. Probably. See how there's this one big square blur mark here? 
And it drives me nuts because why would it be here? Why would it just blur right there? So when it does, it throws off the whole symmetry look to it, the whole symmetrical look to it. You know, the fact that it looks like a perfect triangle. But let me see what it looks like without it and with it. I think we'll take that. All right. I can deal with that. That that's gonna bring out. See how much you're gonna see how much everything just pops out of there now, and that's just. Uh, see now you can actually see. It's amazing what it, what was in these pictures with just a little bit of depth perception. That's why I think it's being changed because it's still in the picture. You know, um, I try to do this sometimes just with pictures I take out and about, and I have a little bit of troubles with it, but. Check these things out here. Tell me this thing, whatever it wasn't. This thing's blurred to hell. You can see the blur marks all over it. Um, long tube things, as always. This looks like a, a rectangular piece right here. It's got some holes in it up here. It's got some holes in it. even looks like it's got a little uh, piece coming up over top of it. This to me is kind of interesting. This this is definitely looks like a, something that's got a fairly big size head or something on it. And uh, it looks like it's got some parts coming out of it. I'm pretty sure this has got to be something that has to do with a uh, with, with, with some sort of, of machinery or something. Or if not, if this was maybe even, like I said, we got to really throw our minds. We don't know what happened on Mars. We don't even know what happened here on Earth. You know, we really act like we do. We've but Science first, science is always wrong. And history is always written by people who won wars, you know, people who had money. You know, we really, truly don't know our own our own. You know, you guys know what I'm talking about. Heritage here on Earth, you know. So let's do a little bit of exposure, and then we're going to do the auto color after. We just do a little bitty bright in there. Now let's do an auto color, because the auto color always seems to change it to a different color. The stuff looks like it's more on Earth after you do it. And that's pretty much how I got up to this point. You see, there's not much change there, but you can see that, I mean... You can see the difference, especially like in things like this. You can see the patterns that are in just this little rock right there. Watch. That's up a little bit more. That's there. But you can see them there. So they're not being added by the computer. Okay, now check this thing up out here. This looks like some sort of tool or some sort of piece of something. It gets pulled out a little bit more there. Um, here seems to be an interesting piece. Of course, here as well, too. Now I've got this sharpening thing here. Let me see if we can't run that on some of these and see if it, if it actually sharpens anything else up. Not really. Where is the one piece that was blurred out? Right here is blurred out. Let's see if we can get behind that. And you can sometimes, nah, but when you add it up like that, definitely looks like it's a nice triangle up the top. Looks like it's got something I'm pointing at. You guys can't see. I'm pointing with my, with my dang finger. What an idiot. But, uh, Okay, so either way, this all is very interesting. Look how smooth this one is here, too, that comes up out of the uh, ground like that. Now, let's go back up here and check this corner where that one piece was, because this one's really interesting to me. It's just kind of sitting up there. Here, right here. This, to me, just looks way out of place for being here. And the top is blurred. So let's see if we can't use this little blur tool and try and pull something out of it. I don't know what you guys think. It looks like a little gnome there. It looks like it's got two little feet there, like a little tail coming around the corner here, a little neck piece and a head. I don't know. It definitely looks like something like that, like whether it's been carved, like a little boot or something. Um, I don't know. That's pretty pretty interesting. Um, let's see. Look at this piece here, that little purplish rock. Here it looks like something that's been manufactured. Everywhere you go on this planet, you see it looks like either destruction or just stuff that's just just... I mean, what's this right here? It's got right in between the circle, if you look. What is that? You know, it's got two symmetrical lines on it. More and more stuff. More, where's the one little piece that came off? Look at that. Look at this one. And see how they've done a really good job of using this. The blind effects, like I say, the, if you look in the middle here, it like chops everything up. So it's it's really, and the color effect does it too. You can see how much color has been added to this. Because even when you drop it like this, if you look at the color scheme, you can see it. See the green down there? It's very subtle. It's almost like they've put in another layer. And you can see that's a very good, this is a very, right here is good. This is the blinds effects from there over to there. And what's it behind? Let's see if we can see anything. Um, you know, 
what looks to be some sort of little platform where it's got two little, wherever there's parallel lines, that's where I seem to find more and more of it. But definitely some interesting, uh, definitely some interesting stuff around here. Check this thing out right here. This one's above, up above. You can see the shadow on it right there, sitting pretty high. Almost like it's sitting off. See, sometimes I, I really do. I, I come to the, like when I look at this stuff, I think of it on you know such a smaller scale. Like, gosh, could this be you know not ruins of something huge, but maybe you know something smaller came in and built upon some ruins. You know, some things look pretty big. If we're no matter where we are, Curiosity Rover has been cruising apparently, if you want to believe it. Now this I think is just a, a piece of matrix thing, but. I think you can look three different ways and see this little face right there. Um, let's see if there's anything up here. Like I said, more of what seem to be like rectangle things. Look, at, they have these perfect, perfect uh, spheres all over the place. It seems like there's a lot of. Uh, they look like trailer hitches from here on Earth, and they're all over the place. That's pretty cool. So. You guys see in the shape that in here? Almost like a shape of an H. Let's see. Anything else we want to take a look at? Let's just take a look at this one more time here. Because this is one of the best things I've seen in a while. And especially up here, it's got the... Uh, it's got a whole bunch of stuff here that's been done like this. That's awesome. And it's got the face right here. This is pretty cool too. Can't beat that. All right, then it gets down here and it gets blurred. Okay, see, look, let's just show right here. Here's where, see, look at this blurring that's been done right here. And you, when you come in close, here's, you can really see where that has been done. It's been done right here. There's a, right in the middle of my circle, there's a square. Right here, there's a square. Right there is a square. There's a square. There's a square. There's a square. There's a square. So this whole little piece right here gets blurred out. But look how intricate. In this little pieces, it's got little S curves. It's got things that come around it, comes down. So even when I use the the D blur tool, you see some of it behind it, but you're never gonna fully see exactly what that was. It's been blurred a little bit right there, but see how it's done with like a square thing? It's just interesting. It just tells me that I think somebody like a, a program's doing it. Look at that little piece. Just little pieces of stuff everywhere. What could? So, and this stuff just looks like, to me, some of you guys would say, oh, that's just rocks, but I don't know. If you watch a lot of my videos and you see, once you start understanding the uh, the techniques they're using and when you really see where they're actually blurring, it, it's it's pretty interesting. And, and we know what comes down off the rover because there are other organizations that get that other than JPL. So they have to release the photos. So they have to do something to them. And uh, when we see stuff like this where everything looks colored, everything looks, you know, blinds effects on it, there's blur marks, they're hiding something. And that piece right there is just one of the cooler anomalies. So hope you guys enjoy it. Go download it while they are still here. You never know what might happen. We're going to have another uh, sequester sometime or something. The budget be cut. All of our pictures will disappear. That's why I put these out here and give you the link because I want you to download it. Save it on your hard drive. You never know when you might want to just go take a stroll around Mars. And even if you don't believe this stuff, I see what I see. You see what you see. It's always fun taking you for a trip on Mars. All right, what's up in the sky? 37, guys. Hope you're having a great weekend. Peace.